Ooh, spooky! Well, I tried. Throughout the entire month of October, whoops, I mean the remainder of the month of October, I'm going to be doing some Halloween-centric reviews and, and calling these review series Halloween Spoopy. Okay, so let's see. What's our first Halloween-centric movie we're going to be tackling today? Oh. <laughs> Can't touch this. Oh, shit. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. Yeah, since the second one is coming out and apparently making a killing at the box office this weekend, it only makes sense to review the first, Boo Medea Halloween. So in case you don't know, Medea is the product of Eddie Murphy wannabe, Tyler Perry. Even though he's not Eddie Murphy, because Eddie Murphy is not only more talented, has made better movies, but he also had the assistance of the greatest makeup artist in cinematic history, helping him with the effect of turning him into other people, including crazy-ass old women. And it was probably this crazy-ass woman idea that won uh, the Nutty Professor an Oscar for Best Makeup that Tyler Perry said, hey, I want to try that. So, he did. And while critics have not been very kind to these movies, rightfully so, all of these movies still make tons and tons of money. Not only that, this is one of those times where it actually is called for to say that the critics and the audiences don't agree with each other with these movies. Because whenever people say that the DC movies and uh, the, the new Ghostbusters movie were dividing critics and audiences, I say bullshit. Fucking bullshit. Now yes, I liked Ghostbusters, I liked Batman v Superman, I liked Suicide Squad, but trust me, there are more people who don't like those movies than people who do. Almost everybody I've talked to said that Batman v Superman was garbage. Many people I talked to say that Suicide Squad was a mess, and almost all of them say that Jared Leto was a shitty Joker, even though I personally think he wasn't. It was just the context he was put in. And of course there was that infamous Ghostbusters movie that I said that I was willing to give it a chance, and so many people gave me a lot of support on my decision. So no, these movies were not dividing critics and audiences. The Medea movies? Hell yeah. Critics hated these movies, but audiences, they can't get enough of these movies. And I personally don't really understand why. They're extremely racist, they're very sexist, they're very offensive, they're very clumsy in tone, with having very bad slapstick comedy mixing with very depressing melodrama. Yeah, don't, yeah, those those two things go together. And to cap it all off, they have probably one of the most insufferable characters in cinematic history, Medea Simmons. Now, personally, I not only think she's extremely annoying as a character, but I don't see how anybody can like legitimately like her because she's a very bad, like very unlikable character. But I bet you're thinking, come on, get to this movie already. Okay, I will. Where did the idea for this movie come from? Well, apparently Tyler Perry got the idea to do Boo a Medea Halloween because Chris Rock did a movie called Top 5 and made a joke about his movie playing up against a movie called um, A Medea Haunted House or whatever, some shit like that. I haven't seen Top 5, I've heard it's really good, and it looks like Tyler Perry thought it was good too. Good enough to take a joke and actually make it into a real thing. Well, sort of. The marketing for this movie made it look like it was going to be a haunted house uh, adventure with uh, zombies and whatnot. Nope! Instead, this movie is about a father who uh, has a daughter who's a, com who's a complete bitch towards him, and the Medea has to knock some sense into that father. Uh, yeah, that, that's, that's Boo a Medea Halloween. Wait, why does that girl look so familiar? Maybe we, maybe if we hear her speak, we like maybe it'll give a better context. Leah and Rain's mom lets them do it. Oh my God! Is that Diamond White, the voice of Fooly on the Lion Guard? Oh no! She's a much better actor than this. Okay, she might not be Academy Award uh, worthy, but goodness gracious, she's much better than this. Like this had to be her theatrical debut. Disney, don't let go of her. 
And remember why I said Medea is very unlikable? Well, look, look at this scene where she tries to knock some sense into, uh, uh, Tyler, real Tyler Perry's character. I mean, it's not really, like, uh, like the character isn't Tyler Perry, but it's Tyler Perry without any makeup or wigs, so I'm just gonna call him real Tyler Perry. But still, watch this scene, and I can just explain to you why this character is so horrible. That's right, whoopah, huh, baby, let me tell you something. I'm not telling you to go up and abuse no child, even though I got a hammer in my purse. I'm just kidding about the hammer. But listen, what I'm trying to get you to understand is very, very simple, son. Hear me clearly. A little love tap ain't never hurt nobody. There it is. A love tap. A little love tap. Just tap your child. A little love tap. Like I did you. I gave you lots of love taps. Look, what? Hold on a second. Did, did, she, did you just say love tap? No, 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 no. That wasn't a love tap. I was on life support. Are you are you blaming that on me? That is not my fault. How, 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 what do I have to do with you being on life support? Am I missing something? I was four years old. Whose fault was it? I told your ass to stop talking back to me. And what did you do? I said that, 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 that. I was talking back. Right. So when I bust your ass and you ended up in the damn life support situation, whose problem did that belong to? You better hold up. She gonna explode a prostate. Right. That's your own damn fault. The defense fresh, Your Honor. The mm -hmm. case is closed. Mm -hmm. Thank you. The jury mm -hmm. has been excused. The movie treats what she's saying as if it's the right thing to do. Like, they, they're making her into the moral compass of this entire franchise. Like, are you shitting me? Now, what, like, really? She is your moral compass? The woman who just said that she put a child on life support and blames the guy who was the child on that because he was irritating her? No! I'm sorry, I don't care what scenario uh, or what thing that kid has done, putting them in life support is not okay in the slightest. Oh yeah, and the frat boys in this movie, they're also annoying. Not Medea annoying, but they're very annoying. It's like Tyler Perry doesn't know how teenagers act. They're just like, oh man, this is gonna be whack, bro. The only thing good in this movie is like Tyler Perry's performance when he's sort of himself, whenever he's not in the makeup, whenever he's playing the, uh, you know, just the regular guy. Not only does his character make the most sense, at least before Medea uses her Medea powers to corrupt his brain noodle, but he's, but beforehand he's not only the most relatable character, but his performance, the, the performance that Tyler Perry gives isn't that bad. And I know Tyler Perry is a better actor than Medea. You know why? Because he killed it in Gone Girl. Like, his performance in Gone Girl was fantastic. But no, he like he keeps wanting to do these Medea movies. And, you know, from a business pers perspective, I can sort of understand why. Because they make tons and tons of money. And, like I said, this train just keeps on chugging along. And even though the newest one, Boo 2 and Medea Halloween, has so far the lowest score out of all the Medea movies on Rotten Tomatoes, it's still killing the box office of this weekend. So really, business-wise, why should he stop? I mean, I want him to stop because these Medea movies are so stupid, and I know he can do better performances than this. But they just keep cranking up money, and they're just not going to stop making money because people just can't get enough of these fucking Medea movies. So because of uh, the real Tyler Perry character, at least in the beginning, and the performance that Tyler Perry gives, which is basically a, a version of himself, I can't zero this one, but Boo Medea Halloween still sucks, I'm giving it a 1 out of 10. But in any case, what do you think of these Medea movies? I mean, you pr you probably love them. If you love the Medea movies, you probably go. You've probably already seen this one. You're probably go already gonna see the newest one. So just go ahead. I don't fucking care anymore. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a like. Share the video so we can get the channel circulated. And if you want to see more, click this.